Kirchhoff is worth taking a lot of time with. If you understand Kirchhoff, um, the laws, after that point, everything in circuitry can seem so much easier. I make you learn how to do equivalent resistance and do the long way because there are some problems out there and there are some situations out there where Kirchhoff is not going to help you very much. However, Kirchhoff can make all of the homework that you've done so far, for the most part, much, much, much easier. So I'm going to show you. Now, it is a little tricky to learn, but I promise you once it's in your head, you won't be able to unsee it. Okay? So let's, let's start out. Um, there's two things, there's two kind of rules here. Uh, okay, so this guy is the crazy name, which I literally can't spell. Okay, see. Okay, thank you, Google. Okay. I said double H. Okay. Um, I shouldn't say laws, I should say rules. Okay. Uh, boop. All right. One of them, okay. Current flowing into a joint must equal current flowing out. All right, what does that mean? Well, let's say that I have five amps flowing into a place in a circuit where it's going to branch off into two two directions okay one this way and one this way whatever is going to come out so whatever is you have the current coming down this oh okay i don't know why a lightsaber appeared uh oh you have lightsaber options okay whoa whatever is coming down here is going to split apart. So whatever comes out of these two branches has got to add up to this guy. So for example, if this was three, you would know this would have to be two. Okay, pretty straightforward. You probably already figured that out on your own. A lot of this stuff is very logical. The other rule I've actually been trying to sort of gently bring up and lecture over and over and over again, which is this. If you go around a loop, any loop, even one without a battery in it, any loop, the total voltage has got to be equal to zero volts. And this has to do with the conservation of energy, okay? You can't go around a loop and come out with more voltage than you started with. If you did, you would basically be making energy, the universe would fall apart, and it would all be your fault, and then everybody would cry, okay? So when we talk about these, this guy comes down to conservation of energy. You can't make your way around and get back to a battery and have one volt left, because that would keep adding to the battery, and you would just keep getting more and more and more energy, fire, death, doom. This guy is a little bit more subtle, okay? Um, this is conservation of basically charge, okay? You can't make charge. You can't get, you can't put five amps in and somehow get like 16 amps out. That would be like you're making electrons. Again, violating physics. You're not a wizard. I'm sorry, okay? If you are a wizard, please contact me.